Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news the US is moving aggressively to protect the tax strategies of the big tech companies. But first this morning, however, the Fed boss is continuing his US congressional testimony on monetary policy, but his comments are not market moving. But American homeowners are moving markets, moving in greater numbers to refinance their mortgages, aiming for lower risks and longer commitments from lenders. And they're doing it at much lower interest rates. US building permit levels and housing starts have stayed low in May, with permits almost 9% lower than the same month in 2019, and housing starts down a very sharp 23% on that basis. In Canada, they're recording sharply lower consumer price inflation. They may be getting asset price inflation like everyone else, but consumer prices actually fell in May by 0.4% on an annual basis. In China, the state council, the country's cabinet, is telling commercial banks to sacrifice more than $300 billion of their sector profits by lowering margins on loans to businesses and making loan deferrals to aid their economy. And Japanese exports fell 28% in May from a year ago. Imports were down 26%, both all-time record declines. And the latest world competitiveness rankings for 2020 are out, and New Zealand has slipped further to number 22 from number 16 three years ago. We've held our economic performance, but slipped on each of the government efficiency, business efficiency, and infrastructure categories. We now rank lower than China, which also slipped down two places over the same period, and the USA, which slipped six places. And it appears that the US is walking away from the effort to forge an international agreement on tax cheating by the large US technology firms. Their defence of Facebook is a key motivator here. The US Treasury 10-year yield is unchanged at 0.74%. Gold is down a dollar to $1,727 an ounce. Oil prices are just marginally softer today too, slipping to just on $38 a barrel in the US, while the Brent price is just under $41 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is a little firmer this morning at 64.8 US cents. On the cross rates, we're a little change at 93.7 Australian cents, but against the euro, we're up almost half a cent to 57.6 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index is up to 69.6 and a similar level to where it was this time last week. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.